y'alls and welcome back to my channel. I finally did it. Yes, you guys, I finally did this faux mohawk look nyana that I promised you a while ago. I know, I know. I posted it on my Instagram and y'all were like, yo, how's about a young tutorial? And then I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. And I made it until now. So here it is. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Comment down below and let me know what other hairstyles you'd like me to do. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Tools for this hairstyle. Well, number one, we're definitely going to need some bobby pins. We are going to use a comb of any type you could have a red tail comb anything that will actually allow you to open a path on your hair i'm going to be using my fingers so this is optional then we will also need a brush very crucial because we want to make sure that at the end the hairstyle looks you know laid them hair them edges everything looks laid looks neat it looks good and that nape area you know everything is good then of course we are going to need a mirror because how are you going to do a hairstyle Gee, you know, so I'm sitting in front of a mirror right here, and I also have a small mirror just to make sure that when I'm done, I can actually just zoom into the places where the big mirror might not have showed me. Need a little bit of a tame nyana, so that's something else we're gonna need. Anyway, let's get into this video and let me start blabbing. Mwah. The hair is fresh, the hair is smelling good. We are gonna create a path right here now. I always have this path. Because I, I do this a lot, that's why it's easy for me to just do it with my hands. We are literally, it doesn't have to be straight by the way. We're literally gonna open it up just like that to almost parallel to your ear, just behind your ear, and then from there create another one behind your ear, another path. Again, you could use a comb, but I prefer to use my fingers. It's less abrasive on the hair and it just means less breakage for me. With this section of hair. I am literally going to create a flat twist. Now a flat twist is literally rolling the hair. In this case I'm going to roll it once and twice again and that's how it's going to look. Can you guys see that? And then with my bobby pin I am going to secure that so that it stays flat. It's like a, a semi flat twist. It's going somewhere and then it just stops. Okay. So I've just secured my bobby pins. You're welcome to take them in and out as you please or see fit because security is all up to you and your hair and the thickness of your hair. That's right. There are two bobby pins in there and it's pretty secure. So on the next side of my head, I will do a bit of a close up so that you see what I do. <laughs> so that's the first part done. Let's move on to the second. Separating my hair on this side and separating it just behind my ear, just like that with my finger. Again, it doesn't need to be straight at all. I will then create a flat twist. Now I'm holding the hair as one section and I'm twisting once and then I'm twisting twice. If you are bad at plaiting, this video is for you. And then you are twisting again right there. This is the flat twist. And then, with our bobby pin, we then secure. It's inside. Grab another bobby pin for extra security. <laughs> I'd rather have more bobby pins in my hair than to risk the security measures up in here. So there you go, it is flat. It is over there, and then we wanna pull out the hair because we are going to try and create a flat structure. We're almost done. As you can see, I've got this side that's flat, this side that's flat as well. I am happy with how it looks. However, I want some faux bangs too with this mohawk because people with mohawks, you know, it kind of goes like this, this and that. You know what I mean? So, let's do that. <laughs> Basically, I create a path again with my fingers in your case, if you want to use a comb, go ahead. Rat tail comb is what I would advise because it's it's big enough and it won't be too harsh on your hair. So basically, I want this to be in the front, but I don't want it to lay too hard. I'm basically going to add bobby pins right here. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to 
make them. So obviously, this is not gonna work. I need another bobby pin. So with my second bobby pin, I am gonna go ahead and do that. Now, this is where the magic comes in. I absolutely love that our hair is so versatile. You could cover those pins up just like that. Now this is what I call the great cover because nobody will know that there are six bobby pins in your hair. So there you are, you basically cover those bobby pins. Can you guys see that? And then you can separate your hair as you see fit. Um, I like freshly washed hair and hair that's semi-stretched, not fully stretched because you want to create that fro look. It's a, a mohawk but it's also your fro, you know what I mean? You still want to, you don't want ends that look too straight so I wouldn't advise you to blow dry your hair and then do this unless if you need volume or unless if your hair is really really short. But right now my hair is semi-stretched, if I had to stretch it fully I don't think I'd achieve, you know, the mohawk that I want. So basically that is it and then on the sides you just basically blend the hair in the hair that was manipulated more the hair that was twisted and then you lift it up a bit okay and that's the one side then the other side you basically separate that as well I keep looking at the mirror of the side because for some reason this hair is not as easily tameable as the other side so there we go just create that and then we fix our full bangs make sure they're well blended and that you don't see any bobby pins any shine now if you've got black bobby pins and you've got dark hair it's really good because it doesn't actually show you don't see it by now you're probably wondering when is she gonna use that I'm gonna take my mirror and make sure that everything's in place yo okay so you basically brush your edges in place for those who love gel and who love the whole sleek edges look go ahead honey make it look pretty do your thing I don't like that in general um, and I just I prefer this plus you guys know my edges story I don't like playing a lot around here and then at the back you just lift the hair a bit and make sure that your nape is brushed properly and then you can make it stand you know the way you want to on this side I've got hair that is looking a little stringy that's okay Fro does that at times Fro's another human as most of you guys know and that's it you can literally rock this look anywhere anytime in my view you could even rock it in the office on a friday so if you do don't forget to tag me on instagram on twitter on facebook the handle is y'all's channel across all social media boards that is me right there anyway i do hope that you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you guys want to see more hairstyles down in the comment box below and of course give this video a massive thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already just click the subscribe button and join the y'all's channel family i love you guys so so much and i'm grateful that you tuned in i'll see you guys later